into is our strength. Attitude is never given in. Attitude makes us who we are. One, two, three. Attitude. Attitude. Great job. Inside Villanova Basketball with Jay Wright is brought to you by your Quality Plus Ford dealers, proud sponsors of Villanova Wildcats basketball, by the Villanova University Office of Conference Services, the main line to your next successful meeting or special program, by Plymouth Country Club, by Mainline Diagnostic Imaging, the Delaware Valley's leader in outpatient diagnostic imaging, by Pico, they put their energy into helping you save energy and money, and by UPS. We are Villanova University, passionate students, fearless innovators, future leaders. We are proud and grounded by humility. We learn together, work together, and celebrate together. We ignite change, making a difference together. Ignite change. Go Nova. Gunderman Group. Gunnerman Group is growing. Getting in a groove. Growth is gratifying. The goal is to grow. Gotta get greater growth. I just talked to UPS. They've got expert advice, special discounts, new technologies, like smart pickups. They'll only show up when you print a label, and it's automatic. We save time and money. Time? Money? Time and money. Awesome. 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 I love logistics. The design of the Ford Escape is clearly intended to grab your eye. Oh, and your foot. Huh, ain't that a kick. The Ford Escape with the foot-activated lift gate. Go open up something interesting. Go further. An energy-guzzling refrigerator can waste up to $150 a year. At Pico, we'll pick up your old fridge and pay you $50. Pico, we put our energy into helping you save energy and money. Hello, and welcome to another edition of Inside Villanova Basketball. I'm Jay Wright. And we've got an interesting show for you this week in that we're going to look at our walk-ons, who are a very important part of our program. Most people don't get to see everything they do, but they're really valued here. We have a saying that everyone's role is different, but everyone's status is the same. And our three walk-ons, Kevin, Patrick, and Henry, are a big part of this. Henry and Patrick are in their junior year. They've really become leaders in the program. Kevin started as a practice player, and now he's one of the walk-ons. And he's learning from Henry and Pat. It takes a lot of work to be a walk-on, but they also can have a great impact. At Villanova, it's about team, which is more than just the players with the most minutes. Being a Villanova walk-on is about being part of something that's bigger than yourself, uh, and that's something that you know it's not gonna get outside recognition. You have to love that no one sees it and love that it's just the intrinsic value of what you're doing every single day that's gonna pay off for you in the long run. I think one of the things I've come to realize in my time here is that each person is a piece of the cog in the wheel that makes the wheel go. And that's something that I, I didn't fully necessarily believe in. I think it's something I had to see and sort of mature in, uh, in my perspective. What people on the outside probably don't understand is, you know, you see them on TV at the end of the bench in a game, it's, it's front row seats and everybody thinks that's probably pretty cool. But every moment that the rest of our team is here in this facility working out, watching film, they're here. For a normal college student, it's, it's a large demand on your time. And I personally can understand why somebody wouldn't want to do it. 
sometimes when players don't bring it on a certain day, Coach Wright really does want us to try and expose them just so they could see, all right, like today I didn't bring it, tomorrow I gotta come back even harder to make up for yesterday. And I think that's where we come into play the most is our off-court actions, not our as much as our on-court actions because we're rooming with these guys. Me and Henry are in the room with Josh and Ryan all the time, just kind of describing to them what went on in practice that day from an outsider's view and what coach is really trying to get across to the other players about playing hard and playing together, not just, he wasn't just yelling at you to single you out. He's really just trying to make the team better. They have no doubt the hardest job on this team because they know they're not gonna go in the game, they're not gonna score 20, they're not gonna make the game winning play but they're embracing their role as Villanova basketball players that's going to be a spark, that's going to you know, motivate you, that's going to fire you up. They're probably the most respected players you know, on this team just because they bring it every day. When we are in drills, making sure that we're playing hard, playing our defense, and sometimes that means getting a little physical with our guys. Maybe what me and Pat lack in athleticism, we make up with for with toughness. When he does go into practice and sometimes I'm out, I'm just like, wow, I think he might actually hurt somebody today. So even right after we stretch, Henry's running out on the floor and just like hitting Phil Booth as hard as he can. I'm like, Henry, you gotta, you're gonna hurt Phil. And he's, well, he's gotta get tougher. He's a freshman. I'm like, you're right, let's make him tougher. When he's in practice, he's 110%. He's trying to make you better. He's smacking at you, just being a pest on the court. You know, and hindsight, when you just look at it, it's just something that, that you love and really value them for. You have to bring it every single day, and that's de most definitely a challenge and something that I wasn't great at my freshman year, but now as a junior, someone who's had the experience, I know it's something that I have to force myself to do every day, and it becomes almost habit at this point. Habit's now being passed along to the newest walk-on, Kevin Rafferty. That moment when I found out that I would be dressing, have a jersey with my last name on the back was something that I'll never forget. It's, it was surreal at the time, because growing up around here, this was the show. Like, coming to games at the Pavilion as a little kid with my dad, and now one of the guys warming up on the court. Kevin got to do a lot more than that at his first game at the Pavilion. I threw the warm-up off. I don't even know where I threw it. I know I chucked it somewhere back there. What happened was I remember Pat drove it from the corner and I spaced up. I just saw the shot clock at something and I also kind of don't remember. I was just like, oh, you know what, throwing this up. Farrell goes back, Raftery floating in, flicks the 10 footer, counted for Raftery off the bench. It actually looked better than I thought it looked because I was like, oh, that looked ugly. And then it went in and I just like sprinted back on defense, not even remembering exactly what just happened. The, the student section went, went crazy and I, I looked over at the bench and I saw Dylan jumping four feet in the air. It was an unbelievable feeling. It was so exciting. The way we see it, it was great that he was able to execute what we do on the offensive end when he got an opportunity to get in the game. It's hard to sit there for 38 minutes, just sit in a chair and all of a sudden get in the game against high level athletes and, and execute. And the way Kevin scored was perfect. It was in the context of our offense and we wouldn't have expected anything different from him. It makes you feel really good to be a part of something as successful as we are right now, just because it really shows that, you know what, I, I am having an impact on what I'm doing every single day, whether or not I'm on the court or not. You know, we're having a very, very uh, successful season so far, and we want to keep it going. And part of our job is to make sure that our guys are focused and know that this is something that we have to keep going. I don't think it gets much better than playing on the big stage for a program like Villanova. Um, it's not something that many people get to do and something that I'm sure I would be envious of if I wasn't in the position that I am. If you're planning your organization's next meeting or event, consider the Villanova University Office of Conference Services. You'll find state-of-the-art meeting facilities, award-winning dining services, modern guest apartments, professional one-stop planning assistance, and a convenient location right on the prestigious Villanova campus. Call us at 610-519-7580 or visit us at conferenceservices.villanova.edu. Villanova University Conference Services, the main line to your next successful meeting or special program. Today, a doctor sees an MRI of a traumatic sports injury a mammogram of tiny tumors, a CT scan of blocked blood vessels. MDI is the Delaware Valley's leader in outpatient diagnostic imaging and we provide answers. From mammography with computer-aided detection to the most advanced open and high field MRI. Our board certified radiologists and supportive staff provide unsurpassed patient-focused care. MDI, Delaware Valley's leader in outpatient diagnostic imaging.
If you're a Delaware Valley golfer looking for the perfect place to call home, come take a look at Plymouth Country Club, located minutes west of Center City, Philadelphia, in beautiful Plymouth Meeting. This superior design will challenge your game and soothe your spirit. The clubhouse includes banquet facilities for up to 300, the perfect location for your wedding or special event. Plymouth Country Club offers a private club experience at a daily fee price, with membership starting at just $260 a month. Call or visit us on the web before this special offer disappears. We are Villanova University, passionate students, fearless innovators, future leaders. We are proud and grounded by humility. We learn together, work together, and celebrate together. We ignite change, making a difference together. Ignite change. Go Nova. In many ways, it looks like the perfect picture, the end of a tumultuous five-year journey in a scene that could have hardly been imagined by someone who saw a completely different picture each day of his young life. The tough inner city background of Brooklyn, New York was the only world Javon Pinkston really knew, almost the polar opposite of where he was headed and where he learned an attitude rooted in self-reliance and survival. Just coming from Brownsville, just in general, not too many people make it out. So you gotta be tough-minded, being a strong person, an individual, and then coming here, just readjusting to being around a different culture. It was a necessary shock for him, you know, because he has an opportunity here at Villanova to experience something different, to be in a community that, that supports him even though he may be a little bit different than everyone and, and appreciate Javon for who he is, he's a great person. And, and I think that he just needed to be in an environment that could bring that out of him. That opportunity was delayed. A violation of university policy in his first days on the main line meant a season long suspension and almost the end of his basketball career. Just having one of my best friends get killed and then just even thinking about if I want to play basketball anymore. And just in the time when it was happening, I was just like, oh, I, I don't want to do this anymore. That was the moment when a strong-minded young man looked in the mirror and made the decision that his life and attitude needed a change. Takes it down the lane, powers up, off the glass, and good on the two-footer, and he's fouled as he ties his career high. I was on an attack that game. I felt it. That's the night I got my couple stitches at halftime, and the second half, I just... Off. Can they come up with steal? Yes, they do. Fell ahead to Pinkston. Pinkston throws down a one-handed jam, and Villanova does it. Cats win. Cats win. Cats win. Pinkston was twice the Big East Rookie of the Week, and on the way toward leading the team in scoring as a sophomore. But this time was a launching point for a new life, a new physique, and a new determination in his focus to be more than just a player. Javon heard a higher calling, one that would allow him to give back. Do you see yourself developing into a leader on this team? Uh, I'm trying. That's all I can ask for, man. What, where do you think you have to improve? The way I communicate with others. Very good, man. Very good. But you, you communicate well, like calling screens, calling out our defenses, um, talking to your teammates when we're matching up. I think you do a great job of that. A lot of time I do it because I don't want to run in practice. <laughs> <laughs> well, we need you to do that because you, you're doing that for your teammates, okay? And, and I know you do. That's why we make you run because I know you'll do anything not to run. So it, that's working. But soon we're going to get you doing that for your teammates. You still do a good job. Thank you. JP. JP. He came off the ball screen, right? You saw nobody was guarding. It's the second time now. You got a chance to help your teammates and you didn't do it. I think when you need to appeal to Javon, some guys you got to appeal to the self. And, and I think with him, when you appeal to him where, hey, your teammates need you to do this, you know, your teammates need you in this situation, that's always the thing that's going to grab his attention the most. And I think it's a, it's a credit to him. 
Javon's growth is what you dream about for a young guy when he, when he comes to play for you. He has become a, a talented guy that's dependable, um, reliable to his teammates and to his coaches. Um, and, and, you know, coming from a Brooklyn kid that just played the game to get buckets and score and, and just be the man, to now be really what we want to point to as a Villanova basketball player, as a coach, it's a dream come true. The best thing you do for a team is like do this seriously, like you show them, like, like I'm, I'm into this, and I want to, and I want to work on my left hand. So get get down low. Hey, let's do this. Go down straight, back inside out. Left hand inside out. Then down straight, back inside out. Finish with one down straight. Good. Now inside out, inside out. Good. Good. Good job just making sacrifices for the better of the team. Uh, and I'm a senior leader, I'm a captain. So it's just doing all the little things that it takes to win. That's what I'm here for. That's what seniors do. When I first met Javon, I was like, yo, this, this dude is off the wall. Like, he's crazy. What, what, who is this dude? And hearing some stories about him. <laughs> but as the years went on, we got closer, we got closer. And he's probably more warm-hearted than anybody on this team, coaching staff included. He's probably more caring and, and, and loving than anybody. He's not gonna show it, he's not gonna tell you that <laughs> because that's how he just is, but he truly do cares for people and, and, and who they are more so than just caring about them as a basketball player or, or whatever they are. If you're in his corner or on his team, he's gonna care for you for the rest of his life. The year that we was 13, 19, we had some uh, little chemistry issues, but after that, every every year we brought in people like Arch and Daniel that brought into the system right away, so everything just fell right into uh, place. Not his only inspiration. I speak to my mom like every other day, or every day she texts me all the time. Sometimes I don't answer, but for the most part, I try. <laughs> She's not like into basketball like that. She, she got into it just because I love it. But other than that, should we just talk about life? I'm crying too. I'm crying too. I'm so proud of him. Did a great job, bro. Okay. Great job. Proud of you. Look how proud you are. Five years and counting from where I came from, just big achievement. And still got ways to go. JP is going to benefit from this in life far more than he knows. He's doing it now out of respect for his teammates and his coaches, but he's, he's gonna see when he, when he finishes playing basketball and he's gonna play professionally, that he's really proud of the man he's become. And uh, it's really one of my favorite stories in, in all of my coaching career. It was rocky at first because I was an 18 year old kid. I thought I was the greatest thing since sliced bread, but he brings you down to uh, earth just great person. Uh, he turns you into the man that, that your parents will want you to become. We are Villanova University. Passionate students. Fearless innovators. Future leaders, we are proud and grounded by humility. We learn together, work together, and celebrate together. We ignite change, making a difference together. Ignite change. Go Nova. Amazing. <laughs> the rush of driving a Mustang oh. felt like never before. I could happily probably cry right now. It makes you feel like, wow, that is amazing. <laughs> Introducing the all new Ford Mustang. Experience more online now. Come on, man. Come on. An energy guzzling refrigerator can waste up to $150 a year. At Pico, we'll pick up your old fridge and pay you $50.
PICO. We put our energy into helping you save energy and money. If you're planning your organization's next meeting or event, consider the Villanova University Office of Conference Services. You'll find state-of-the-art meeting facilities, award-winning dining services, modern guest apartments, professional one-stop planning assistance, and a convenient location right on the prestigious Villanova campus. Call us at 610-519-7580 or visit us at conferenceservices.villanova.edu. Villanova University Conference Services, the main line to your next successful meeting or special program. It was a tremendous feeling. It, it certainly was. And it was a great feeling for all our guys. It's really a pleasure and an honor for me and our team to be the national champions of the nation! So we're going to go see the president. Mr. President, we would like to make you an honorary Wildcat. Members of the Villanova Wildcats, well done. You represent the spirit of overcoming great odds that Americans love so much. The tradition carries on. We've come up with an expression that tradition never graduates, and that's exactly what has happened here at Villanova. We're all disciples of Massimino. Once a wildcat, always a wildcat is really, really true. And this kind of family is the kind of family that extends throughout time and space. Everybody has a certain amount of incredible respect for the tradition and the hard work that's led to the moment. You're reminded every time you, you come on campus and that it's just a great feeling. This championship, this Villanova family is the reason that I have done everything that I've done. Here we are 30 years later, entire team coming back to celebrate Villanova basketball. You know, we were blessed and graced with a great moment in time that we know is part of history and it's a special part of collegiate basketball history. Looking back on the last 30 years, it's really a remarkable story. Today, a doctor sees an MRI of a traumatic sports injury, a mammogram of tiny tumors, a CT scan of blocked blood vessels. MDI is the Delaware Valley's leader in outpatient diagnostic imaging, and we provide answers from mammography with computer-aided detection to the most advanced open and high-field MRI. Our board-certified radiologists and supportive staff provide unsurpassed patient-focused care. MDI, Delaware Valley's leader in outpatient diagnostic imaging. We are Villanova University. Passionate students, fearless innovators, future leaders. We are proud and grounded by humility. We learn together, work together, and celebrate together. We ignite change, making a difference together. Ignite change. Go Nova. Gunderman Group. Gunderman Group is growing. Getting in a groove. Growth is gratifying. The goal is to grow. Gotta get greater growth. I just talked to UPS. They've got expert advice, special discounts, new technologies, like smart pickups. They'll only show up when you print a label, and it's automatic. We save time and money. Time? Money? Time and money. Awesome. 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 I love logistics. <laughs> 2015 has honored some great anniversaries, the 85 national championship team, but the 1995 Big East Championship team was an amazing group of guys. Alvin Williams, Kerry Kittles, Jason Lawson, Eric Ebers, and Jonathan Haynes, the leader of this squad. These guys are a big part of Villanova history, and we honored them this year at our St. John's game. They're a great group of guys that are still a big part of the Villanova basketball family. It was nearly 20 years ago when the greatest scorer in Villanova history brought his team and coach to the brink of somewhere they'd never been before. Steve Lapis, 40-year-old, third-year coach at Villanova, coming back to his hometown to win another big crown. He won the NIT on this floor last March. That NIT title was the foundation. 
So it was a great experience for them playing in the postseason. You have Jason and Alvin as freshmen. You had Kerry as a sophomore. You had Jonathan Haynes. You had good leaders, Eric Ebers. So you had a lot of young guys coming together, and they learned how to win. But that's when I knew this is going to be all right. The faces of these champions in waiting are familiar to Wildcat fans. Some of the most individually talented and accomplished in school history. The individual best that got better when they played as one. It was a good time for me, good experience. Uh, playing with those guys, I really, I really enjoyed it. It was a lot of team. You know, we emphasized team. Coach Lab emphasized team and being a family and playing together and getting each other open on the court. So it was, it was a great time. The championship run began on the road in January as Jonathan Haynes finished off Florida in dramatic fashion. After their 8-5 start, Villanova was ready to take off. The Wildcats used the Florida game to launch an 11-game winning streak, just too shy of the school record, which culminated in a February 18th visit to number one UConn in a harbinger of things to come. Jason Lawson and Big East Player of the Year Kerry Kittle sent a message in stores that reverberated through the conference. But to walk out of Madison Square Garden with the hardware, Villanova needed to be at their best. A last second win against BC brought the semifinals and a Providence team that had nipped the Cats in the regular season finale. This time would be different. Gary Kittles and company back tomorrow to tangle with UConn in the Big East Final. The final was a microcosm of the season. A 17 to nothing run early in the second half broke open a tie game. Kittles and Lawson each had 27 points, and this Wildcat group would do something no other Villanova team had done before or since. They are the Big East champions for the first time. The signature victory for this talented core of players. We had a great team. We, uh, we played for each other, we had a lot of fun, and uh, our experience was great here. I'm sure the other teams, they had great experiences playing for Villanova, and um, we all are Villanova Wildcats, so at the end of the day, it's just, it's all basketball, and uh, it's all fun. What a team, what a group of guys. It was great to bring them back, and once a Wildcat, always a Wildcat, and all of us at Villanova never want to forget the great accomplishments of teams like the 1995 Big East champions. Well, that's going to do it for our final edition of Inside Villanova Basketball. We've had the greatest staff in the world work with us this year. We want to thank everybody that puts this show together. And thank you, the Nova Nation, for always being a part of Inside Villanova Basketball. Inside Villanova Basketball with Jay Wright is brought to you by your Quality Plus Ford dealers, proud sponsors of Villanova Wildcats Basketball, by the Villanova University Office of Conference Services, the main line to your next successful meeting or special program, by Plymouth Country Club, by Mainline Diagnostic Imaging, the Delaware Valley's leader in outpatient diagnostic imaging. By Pico, they put their energy into helping you save energy and money. And by UPS.